Well, we're here in Sanborn, Iowa, one of the coolest towns that you're ever going to see right here in Northwest Iowa. Let's go check it out. Well, for me, everything kind of starts in Sanborn at the city park. You have the Veterans Memorial right down in the middle. You've got the Freedom Rock right over here on the corner. And on the other side, the coolest aspect of this whole park, in my opinion, along with everything else that's so cool in this park, is they have a real live caboose. So Sanborn, being a population of about 1,400, they have all the amenities here. They've got all the entertainment as well. They have two different parks, and we see the city park. We're gonna go out to a county park that's just a few miles outside of town next. This is Dalma, let's go check it. It looks like they have about 13 hookups, so this would be a great place to bring your family and camp. So let's just see this building in the background. Well, one thing you can't go wrong with here in a small town like Sanborn, Iowa, is the bowling alley, which they have a good one here. This is Locomotion Lanes right here in Sanborn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check Josh in the back here. He's in the pro shop. We'll see if he can drill some holes for us so you can kind of see how that's done. The man of the hour. Good morning. Good morning, sir. So I heard that you like to uh, work on those bowling balls and drill yes, some sir. holes in them. Let's yeah. see how it's done. This provides economic entertainment. It's a good time, it's fun. You can't go wrong with a nice, healthy game of bowling. So let's go check it out. I love small town Iowa. For this is Sanborn, Iowa. It's about 1,400 population. And that's about the size of town that I love the most because it's just big enough and yet small town, right to the heart. You gotta love it. Let's check out some of the main street businesses. Sanborn is really kind of known as a railroad town. You can kind of tell just by this mural that's behind me. Another cool mural in a small town. If you don't have one, you should look at getting one because it's a really cool concept. I love it.
All right, one other place we're gonna stop as we're leaving the park. We're gonna walk down now. We're gonna check out that Carnegie Library. Wait till you hear the story of this library. All right, so there's a lot more to the story of this Carnegie Library here in Sanborn, Iowa. 1911, you can kind of see that on the cornerstone as far as this library taking place. But if you look at the history of Carnegie Libraries, they didn't just happen, especially in a community the size of 1400. Over time, what happened is Carnegie actually kind of lost its functionality for libraries. They got too small, they weren't handicapped accessible, and so a lot of these towns started to try to figure out what are we going to do with our library. Now some people had the mindset to really think of can we save the library, can we add on to it, and a lot of towns did that. Unfortunately some of these libraries are no longer, they just were torn down just because there's just no further use for them. So if you have a Carnegie Library in your town, it's valuable, hold on to it. They figure they can use it for all sorts of type of venues, whether it is wedding showers, or whether it's a baby shower, or graduation, or many other kind of get-togethers or parties. And the coolest thing of all, you can literally stay at this Carnegie Library. So if you want to look for a unique place to stay, where to go, stay and play in the Midwest, you could stay here. couple more stops but what's next where do you eat all right so the place I hear to eat here in Sanborn is rails and I've heard fantastic spots we're gonna go in here now I'm gonna order what they call a rail burger with American cheese and bacon you can't go wrong with that and it kind of goes with the overall theme of the railroad here so let's go check it out this is rails So that was Rails, and I tell you what, if you get an opportunity to stop here in Sanborn, I would try it. It's a fantastic place. Kelly owns the place, and it's great. There was music, there was a birthday party going on, there was lively action. I had a person come up to me and just say, hey, where are you from, what are you doing? And that's what I love about small towns like Sanborn, right? It kind of feels like the cheers effect, like what Kelly was saying. She's like, hey, you remember the song Kelly? And and anyway, uh, that's how you can remember my name. And I thought, see, that's small town. It's small town nice. But why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want to live there? Why wouldn't you want to go vacation there and tour there? Because there's a lot more in your own backyard that you don't even realize. And if you're in Sanborn, especially around that supper time hour, stop in there. She had a lot more than a burger, but I just love a good burger. And that's a great bar and grill. Fun atmosphere, fun town, Sanborn Island. We can always tell where the locals are just by looking where they're gathering. And that's Jay's this morning, so we're gonna check this place out here in Sanborn, Iowa. Let's get some breakfast. Just a little tip here, if you're gonna get a pancake at Jay's, which I did, it's awesome. They're huge, they're dry dormant. You don't need to get any more than two. Get one, plenty, but awesome. Great place to stop. Our next place we're on our way to, one of the best museums in the Midwest. Let's head down to the Sanborn Truck Museum. about ready to take you on just a slight little tour here at one of the coolest museums I believe in the Midwest. We have about 150,000 square feet under the roof here so you're going to check all this and roughly around 250 vehicles. So 
One of those things I know are this huge fire truck collection, which I can't wait to show you. Let's just check this out. How about tractors? You like tractors? Check these out. Trucks, cars, tractors, fire engines, and a whole lot more. Speaking of fire engines, let's go down Fire Engine Row right over here. Alright, let's keep on walking through and check out some other parts. Sanborn, Iowa. Definitely an awesome Midwest small town. You should definitely check this place out. The museum itself is really cool. Definitely worth the trip. But Sanborn as a whole reminds me of a lot of Midwest small towns. Right? Small in size, big and hard. The people are great. And there's plenty to do. And I always love to point these places out because sometimes we don't even realize or we forget what's in our own backyard. And like Sanborn, all you got to do is just look around and you can see one of these places right here at the Truck Museum.